Peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to do some applique. Mm -hmm. so we're going to do like a special applique because Fourth of July is coming up pretty soon, so we're going to be doing a big four for Fourth of July. So stick around. <laughs> What is applique? Applique is the process of putting a material or fabric on top of something else, like a shirt, that will, instead of using a fill stitch to fill in a certain color, you use that material on top. And all you do is stitch around the outside of it, covering the seam. Mm. Does this also save thread? It saves a lot of thread, especially if you have a big number, like we're going to use in our design. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to save on that thread for the fill stitch area. So let's get to it. So we've opened up Inkscape. Yep, and right now all we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our applique. I think that should be our first layer, just to kind of pin down our fabric on top of our shirt. We're just gonna do one big four. And we're using a five by seven hoop. Yes, we did set this up with our five by seven template, uh, just so we can get the biggest four we can. And we'll play with the font later, but let's make this a lot bigger. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about that? Is that too big? Mm. Make it bold. Okay, so let's pick a font. We want a nice, big, thick font. What do you think? Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is actually going to be blue, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, we're not even going to account for that because all we need to do is do the stroke of this for, for now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to select this and we're going to make it a path because we don't need to edit that anymore. So we're going to object to path. And now what that does is that's going to give us our outline. If we go into our node view, you can see now here are our nodes, which is pretty simple because they're just a bunch of straight lines. Mm -hmm. But this is what's going to give us the stroke that we need. So you're going to hit shift and blue, and that's going to give us our stroke. And then we're going to hit X, and that should get rid of the black inside. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So now the other part of doing this, we're going to copy this. We're going to do uh, Command C and we're going to do Command V over here. And for this one, we want to make a dashed line because the dashed line will give us just a straight stitch. So we go to Stroke Style and we're going to turn this into a dashed line. And we can adjust this. It, this really doesn't matter because it's going to give you a straight line anyway. But I just like visualizing it. Ooh, maybe that's a little too small. That's good. So this is gonna be layer one of our design because we want this dashed line to stitch down the fabric for the mm -hmm. applique process, right? And then we're gonna turn this one into a thicker satin stitch along the edge that will cover up the seam when we cut out the excess material. So we're gonna make this a little bit thicker. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. So we're leaving this blue, but for our applique, we actually want this to be white, right? Yeah. So we're going to hit shift and hit the white on this one. Now what this will do is, well, we're going to move this on the layers anyway, but for our machine, it will stop the, stop the machine after this stitch, wanting a color change. So this is the way to make your machine stop if you just change the color. Even if you're gonna use the same color, I would suggest changing the color of one of these so that your machine will stop after that color is done. So in our case, it will stitch out this blue, stop, want us to change it to white. Well, at that point, we can take this out of the machine, cut out the excess material, put it back in the machine, and then stitch out the white. Mm -hmm. All right. That will give us a nice clean border. It will. All right, so now let's start moving into layers. 
because I didn't do any of that stuff yet. So I'm gonna open up the Layers tab. And then finally, what I'm gonna do, just a little trick, is I'm gonna turn the opacity down on this, which almost makes it disappear. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna be able to see through it when I put it on top of this, because I want it to be exactly in the middle to cover up the seam. And this might be really hard to do. I'm gonna actually change the color temporarily so I can see it. Right there, with the node snapping tool, on it actually snaps right into the middle where it's supposed to be which is very helpful so that's good right there and now i'm going to go ahead and turn it back to white i actually like the red <laughs> yeah it would be good with red too and i'm going to turn the opacity back all the way on so it's completely covered our blue stitch which is what we want and it's gonna make a nice transition between the shirt and the applique mm -hmm. all right so let's design the rest of this I'm going to use the lettering tool so we can get a satin stitch letter happy. Okay. So use the lettering GUI and let's pick a font. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like it. We'll go with that one. Sure. Okay, we're going to hit apply and quit. Now we're going to select it and we're going to, our design, we're going to go ahead and turn it on to the side here, kind of the same angle as that four. While we have this selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit shift and change red. the color to red because this is going to be stitched out in a red satin stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything so I can move that back onto the, or I guess we could shrink it a little bit. What do you think? I'm going to shrink it. Yeah, so the four pops out. <laughs> okay, we'll just shrink that a little bit. And happy four, that's probably not right, so we'll put a TH, th up here. So we'll do, go into the... Lettering. Gooey. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of like it. I do too. Alright. And there it is. Let's select that. I can move it over here. I like that. Oops. And then this is going to be white as well. Yes. So I'll hit shift and white. And you really can't see it anymore, but that's okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer just to kind of put the text on. So new layer, and I'm going to select this, shift, and that. Right click, move to layer. All right, let's see how this looks. So what did we do? Okay, so let's see which thing is the issue here. What if it's like what we learned in a previous video where like they just don't all work together? Could be. Okay, now I realize you can barely see it here because of the white background, unfortunately, but um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of the, the restacking objects objects, so that I don't have one less color change because any time you can make the process a little bit faster, 
I like it. So I'm gonna move this TH to stitch out before the happy. And I'm gonna do that by selecting in order how I want it to stitch out. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yeah. All right. So we do the blue color, we stop the machine, we cut out the excess material, change to white, it does all of the white together. All right, so now that we have everything good and ready to stitch out, let's go ahead and save this as a zip file. We'll save it as a PES and SVG. We have everything we need. So we're gonna be using the five by seven hoop, a just a plain shirt, some basting adhesive, and then a cutter. Yeah, a cutter, and then some stabilizer. Yep, and this is just some featherweight stabilizer. Don't need much. This is just a cotton tee. And then for our applique, we're gonna use this pretty blue polyester material. Let's get hooping. Nice. to stretch this material out, otherwise we'll cause little wrinkles. Okay, so we have this nicely hooped. Now we need to cut out a nice piece of this that will lightly spray with the basking adhesive to stick it down. And then we'll do our first applique stitch. Sounds good. Okay. Now it's time to put it in the machine. Again, we're going to be very careful to make sure that we don't have any of this material underneath. We don't want to stitch the bottom to the um, top. Exactly. Now in our design, we made this blue this first stitch out blue but remember we don't really care what this color is we're not going to see it and the machine will stop it after this first stitch so it won't just continue on with the rest of the white mm -hmm. so let's look up our design Okay, so that is gonna fit just right. Okay. All right, so now it's gonna sew out the blue part, which is, again, it's white, but it's just gonna be the straight stitch to lock down our applique material. It's done. Cool. So now we're going to take out the machine and cut out the excess.
shirt was very fun to make and we'll definitely have some colors for 4th of July and have our spirit on. And it looks really fancy and nice. Yeah, it turned out okay. Uh, not too many complaints. Uh, we did have a mess up as you saw where the needle actually broke mid uh, H in the TH there. So there's some wrinkling here where the material got pulled, but other than that, it actually turned out very well. Very happy with the lettering GUI and how that uh, programs out the satin stitch for the letters. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.